Hey guys, welcome to my video. In today's video, um, I wanted to start something completely new, something I've never done before, and this is intermittent fasting. So this is day one of intermittent fasting. I'm going to try it for 10 days, and we'll see if I wanna to stick to it at the end of the day. Um, so basically intermittent fasting is great for, um, oh my god, there's so many health benefits to it, um, anti-inflammatory, um, it's good for weight loss, uh, it's good for basically what it does is it when you burn energy, um, it's taking the fat that's just sitting on your body and using that for energy. So. I'm going to be doing the 16-8 uh, rule for intermittent fasting, meaning I do not eat for 16 hours. I let my body just digest for 16 hours. So um, people have different times when they want to do this. I'm going to be doing it from about 12 to 8. Uh, that's my time period. So 8 hour time period of eating and then a 16 hour period of not eating um, at all. And during that not eating phase, you just want to make sure that you're drinking a lot of water for me I'll be drinking water with lemon and apple cider vinegar so yes I can't wait to try this I'm always looking for healthier ways to live my life as you guys know I am vegan so this is gonna be a vegan intermittent fasting so if you want to see how this turned out then please keep watching this is gonna be a vlog style video and I'm gonna go day by day on how um, it went so thank you guys so much for watching please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye hey guys so it is day two of intermittent fasting and yesterday went actually very, very well. I had two very large meals. I had a large um, lunch and a large dinner. And I will show the clips in this video. You'll see it. Um, and yeah, today is day two. And it is currently 8.15 a.m. on Friday. And um, yeah, I... I have to say right now I do feel hungry like my stomach is growling um, but that's because my body is used to eating like avocado toast every morning so um, it's definitely a bit of an adjustment but I think like from what I've read online it's going to adjust and um, soon sorry there's a huge truck next to me um, soon you like that will go away. I won't be hungry in the mornings anymore. So um, definitely looking forward to that. I'm definitely not like starving, um, but my stomach definitely like other people could hear it if they were like next to me. Um, but yeah, yesterday all day, I didn't feel hungry throughout the day. I had my two meals and I was literally completely full for like at lunch. I was so full until dinner. And then I had dinner and I was full all night. Like I was never craving like a snack or anything. And I think it's because um, I really did like get all of my nutrients in. And guys, I'm literally in like stop and go traffic right now. So that's why this is happening. Um, and yeah, so, so far so good. And I'm really looking forward to continuing. I packed my lunch. Uh, in here, it's like a an enormous container filled with um, like kale, spinach, cucumbers, carrots, tomatoes, um, potatoes, like one white potato. Um, I have some sunflower kernels in there, um, some salad booster seasoning. Um, lemon juice, avocado. In 1,000 feet, exit cider. right to exit 19A, Kendrick um, Street, Needham. Um, and yeah, so I have a lot of good stuff in there for sure. And I'm looking forward to eating it. So I will talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, so it is day three of intermittent fasting. And I got my ice cream tea here. So this is how um, in the mornings I keep myself full. 
So typically I am drinking water with lemon or iced green tea with just lemon, no sugar, it's unsweetened. I never drink my tea uh, sweetened. Um, but yeah, so that's how I keep myself full in the mornings. And it's really helped me to start drinking more water, which is something that I definitely could have approved upon for the longest time. Um, so that's great that I've really started to up my water intake um, with intermittent fasting. And you know what, honest to God, I really don't get that hungry in the morning anymore um, on day three and it's great because um, day one I, I was actually very hungry in the morning, um, but it's gotten a lot better and I'm really, I'm feeling great. Guys, whenever I have like really like whole, full, like soulful meals that just are all basically vegetables, grains, like all whole foods. I've been focusing um, on like very, very whole food diet on top of intermittent fasting instead of like processed foods. Um, I've been a little bit lenient on myself about that on like Saturday and Sunday. Um, but because I started this on Thursday, but I was a little more lenient as to like allowing myself to, you know, go to the Olive Garden with my boyfriend and his parents. Um, but just making sure that I wasn't eating outside of my window. So yeah, um, it's been really good and 95% of what I've eaten has been all whole foods and um, obviously plant-based and it's just... I feel so amazing after every meal I have and I never used to eat like that like at all so it's definitely great and um, I'm looking forward to the next seven days of intermittent fasting and today I ate like cauliflower and like I'll show you I'll put the um, video in here of what my meal looked like it was from the buffet at Whole Foods and it didn't contain any oil which is something that I always look at because Whole Foods because oil is not considered a whole food and I also just try to avoid oil at all costs anyways. So I got like vegetables and grains from their buffet and um, I absolutely loved it. And that's a really like easy way if you're on the go, just stop at Whole Foods and go to their buffet section. It can get a little bit pricey, but I spend money on my health. I really invest in my health and um, so yeah, I don't mind spending a little extra money, um, especially when I don't have time to make food and I don't want to eat junk food. So yeah, um, it's been absolutely great so far. Um, it's 3.30 right now and it is currently Sunday, so I had the day off and me and Corey are about to go film for um, my recipe channel, V is for Vegans. I'll have the link in the description and I'll have the title up here if you want to search it and go ahead and follow us. We post videos every Wednesday, every week. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do like a quick update with you and just say I am doing a little snack here. It is currently 5.45 um, on day three and yeah, I have a handful of raw nuts here. There's no salt, there's no oil, nothing added to them. I get the big thing of them at Target. Um, I would highly recommend this because uh, they're filled with protein, they're good fat, and yeah, it'll keep you, um, it'll keep you full and it'll hold you over until your next meal, which is dinner. Um, and for dinner, I'm going to be having an Irish stew that me and Corey are making on our channel, the Is for Vegans. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and eat this and eat dinner. <laughs> have a good day.
So it is day four of intermittent fasting. And I made myself a delicious smoothie. So this is gonna be kind of like my dessert for the day. I had lunch and I had dinner. You're gonna see a picture of my lunch. For dinner, I had some brown rice with turmeric. Um, I had also the Irish stew that me and Corey made on our channel. And you can see there's snow here. It's pretty cold here, but it's actually not a bad night. You can see the sunset behind me. Look how pretty that is. It's so gorgeous. So yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy this. It's gonna be my very healthy dessert. And it's almost seven, so I gotta hurry up and drink it. <laughs> I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hello everyone, it is day five of intermittent fasting. This is my lunch, so it's a huge container. It weighs like a very good amount, um, but it's super healthy and you need to eat this much if you're intermittent fasting and only doing two meals a day. Um, I don't really have snacks throughout the day, so this is really gonna hold me over until dinner. I have, on the bottom I have kale, spinach, and then I have some brown rice, with turmeric on it, turmeric powder. And I have some cucumbers, I have some alfalfa sprouts, and then I have these little crunchy sprouts, and they're super good, so good for you. And then I have some avocado, I also have coconut aminos on there, and some squeezed lemon, fresh lemon. So yep, this is my lunch, and I can't wait to eat it. It is currently, um, 10.55, so in about an hour I can start eating at 12. So yeah, day, day five, so far so good. Um, I'm feeling awesome, honestly. Um, I am definitely a little bit hungry right now. It's 10.57 in the morning, um, and I am just got back from Boston to do something, and for work now I gotta go into my office, so. It's, it's so far so good, guys. I feel so much lighter. Um, I never feel like bloated. I just feel like full after I'm done. And yeah, I really don't have anything negative to say about this. I love how I feel after I eat these meals and I never ate these type of meals before. So I don't think I realized how good I could actually feel. So yeah, um, I'm very glad I started this and I definitely want to continue for the next um, five days. I'm halfway through already which is crazy it seems like I just started um, but yeah I have a feeling that I'm gonna keep it up after 10 days because I'm really loving it guys I'm loving the results I'm feeling of just happiness and energy and um, you know I don't feel bloated I can feel my stomach like kind of going down a little bit from like all the water weight and stuff that I was holding on to and that extra fat. So yeah, already and it feels really good. I can't wait to weigh myself on Thursday to see if I lost any pounds. I'm going to weigh myself weekly. So yeah, um, have a good day guys. I will check in with you soon. Hey guys, so quick little update. I'm currently just home from work and eat dinner and now I'm eating well, drinking my smoothie. So I made two smoothies yesterday. Um, you saw that already. So this is just the second one that I made for today. Smoothies are awesome because they're super easy and you can pre-make them for the next day, which is something that I need to do because I really don't have the time to do anything ever. So this part's great. Um, yeah, I'm just laying here watching YouTube, watching Sam Oscarl's YouTube. If you guys are familiar with Sam Oscarl, I love her. I think she's amazing. So, yeah, I'm just relaxing. I have a candle lit. And, yeah, so today went um, very, very well with the intermittent fasting. Um, I told you I was um, pretty hungry for lunch. Um, I really was pretty hungry for lunch, but after I ate, I felt so full and so good, and I didn't have any cravings, and then when I got home, I had dinner, and it was super good. I had more Irish stew, the last of it, um, and now I'm having this smoothie, and I'm having this smoothie before I go to the gym, so yeah, um, exciting stuff, guys. I'm really loving intermittent fasting, and I just feel so good after every meal, um, so that's what's going to keep me going with this um, 
in the future for sure. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon with the next update. Hello everyone, please do not mind how absolutely insane I look right now. I got out of the shower not too long ago and I'm just a mess. I got out of work, blah, blah, blah. So I am currently cooking and here I have some onions and some mushrooms. Yum, yum, yum. It's so amazing, guys. It smells so good and I even put some extra thyme in there. Uh, so very cool like random ingredients that I want to get rid of so I'm just gonna chop up some carrots I'm gonna make this rice cauliflower vegetable medley I'm currently making broccoli florets I already made edamame and yeah I'm gonna make some cabbage because I have that leftover from a recipe I made and then I'm gonna throw some capers in here along with that so I'm going to place the camera down on my phone okay so I'm just gonna put some capers in this dish here. I'm not gonna put a lot, just some. I actually really, really, really like capers, so yeah. I'm just gonna. I had it left over in my fridge, so why not? And now I'm just gonna chop up some carrots because I'm in the mood to eat some carrots. So this is day five, guys, of intermittent fasting, and I'm feeling so good it's unbelievable I feel like I just I've never felt better after eating meals before um, and it's pretty amazing to be completely honest with you I'm cutting oops, <laughs> I'm cutting two carrots by the way um, and yeah I've just been eating a bunch of whole foods and um, it's been going really well, guys. I don't get hungry during the day anymore, and it's super easy for me. I feel like I'm not even putting in any like extra effort than I was before. Um, I just feel like super good about everything. So yeah, oh my God, this camera makes me look huge. I just have a million layers on, I promise. Um, but yeah, so I definitely think that I'm gonna continue this after day 10 because I feel so good. And I also just love having like goals. I think goals are super important. And yeah, it just, it's a different way to motivate you and keep you on the right track towards like ideal health. Um, I would honestly say that my diet right now is literally like what a human's idea health should be, which is whole foods, uh, no processed foods whatsoever and just huge portions. So two huge portion meals, making sure that you're getting enough calories and nutrients for the day. And yeah, so that's what I have to say. So far, so good. I'm loving it. I have no complaints whatsoever. I don't feel like I'm starving myself. Um, I'm just gonna, just gonna stir this around. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm starving myself or anything by any means. Um, I'm just, just living life to the fullest, literally at this point. So yeah, um, I'm really excited and I'm glad that you guys are with me on this journey and let me know um, in the comments, like how it's going for you or, or if you want to start, um, hashtag Jessica Christine, the intermittent fasting challenge, you know, um, on Instagram, you can follow me. I'm Jess Christine X3 on Instagram. And yeah, so I will update you guys when all of this is done. Hummus, black beans, carrots, broccoli, edamame, mushrooms and onions with some thyme. I have spinach underneath, and then on this side I have kale underneath, and then on the very bottom you'll see riced cauliflower. And I also sprinkled some lemon pepper seasoning on the broccoli, the edamame, and the veggies. And then I, of course, put over my um, coconut aminos. This stuff is a lifesaver, guys. I would highly recommend it. And yeah, so that is all for day five. It is currently 6.50 and I'm going to eat. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Hello everyone, it is day seven of intermittent fasting and I have to say I'm laying here, I just got from work, I have a candle lit, I'm eating my water. and yeah, 
so I have to say intermittent fasting went so well I love it I absolutely love it today I was a little more hungry than usual so I couldn't wait to eat lunch I ate lunch I was super full but then around dinner time I got wicked hungry again um, so I'm gonna make sure that I eat enough for dinner for sure um, and I also had like a banana throughout the day for like a snack before dinner because I was I was really hungry before dinner. So um, sorry if you can hear the background noise. I had my window open because it's really nice out today, and that was an airplane. But um, yeah, I really love intermittent fasting, and I'm gonna keep it up. So I made it to day seven. It's been a week, and. I absolutely love it. And this is a 10 day challenge anyway, so I was gonna make it 10 days regardless. But um, I definitely think I'm gonna stick it out through past the 10 days. Um, I just feel really good. And um, I just have to figure out ways to start like really switching up my meals instead of having like the same type of like meals every day. I definitely have to figure out like more like whole foods that I could be like incorporating. Um, leave in the comments down below if um, you eat a whole foods plant-based diet, like what you would recommend because um, I wouldn't say like technically raw because I've been cooking like mushrooms and like potatoes, but I don't use anything. I just use water when I cook them, um, but technically that's not raw because raw it means not like not cooked. I'll cook like carrots and stuff too and like I, I usually eat them raw but yeah there's certain things that I'm cooking but I'm just not cooking them with anything like no oil or, or anything just water so yeah let me know what you would recommend for like a whole foods meal because I definitely need like more of a variety and like more options I just want to make sure that I'm eating like colorful meals and then I'm getting like, all the nutrients I need and that I'm eating more calories so yeah, I definitely feel like I did not eat enough calories today, which is why I was so hungry um, by the time the dinner came. So I'm definitely going to make myself like a smoothie after I'm done with this to like a bunch of stuff in it. And um, yeah, um, I'll try to figure something else out to eat as well. So I definitely need to eat a little bit more tonight uh, before 8. It's currently 6.30 on the dot, so I got an hour. I usually like try to be done um, by like 7, 7.30, but um, it's probably going to be 8 tonight because I got to cook. I think I'm going to bake, I think, not bake, but I think I'm going to boil some potatoes and put some lemon pepper seasoning on them and um, probably make some more brown rice because I'm out of that and cook up some like mixed vegetables. I haven't had that yet. Yeah, I'll see what else I can I can find. Maybe some more artichokes. So thank you guys so much for watching. That pretty much sums up day seven. And I will check in with you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Hey guys. So it's day eight. And it's Friday. Yay for Friday. As I always call it, Fry Yay. So yeah, I'm just, I'm in a pretty good mood. Um, work is going well today. I am officially going to be out of the training program, so super exciting. Today's my last day in the training program. I have a certification today. Um, but yeah, it's currently 57 degrees out in Massachusetts. And if you guys are from the area, um, you guys know that it's winter here and it's really like cold all the time and there's snow on the ground. Um, there's still snow on the ground, but um, not as much. It definitely melted a ton today because it's literally 57 degrees outside and in New England that's normal. You never know what it's gonna be. Um, my hair is like a mess. It's so frizzy because um, it's like raining kind of as you can see on my moonroof. It's like a sun, sunroof. Is this a moonroof or a sunroof? Let me know. It's like huge so just let me know. <laughs> I never know what to call it. Um, but yeah, so my fasting has been going very good, um, today. I just had my lunch. It's like basically the same type of lunch I've been having all week. I told you guys to leave me down in the comments some whole food meals that, um, will allow me to like switch it up a little. I'm not really good at like, 
um, planning things during the week because I'm so busy all the time. I don't even have time to really think about recipes, so I kind of just stick to what I know. So if you guys have any recommendations of other meals that I could be making, that would be amazing because I'm getting kind of sick of what I'm eating, like the same thing over and over again. Um, but it is super healthy, and I've been seeing... Um, changes in my skin so I've been like very very glowy lately like extremely glowy I don't know if you can tell like in here but um the sun is like half out half not out this lighting is so strange but yeah I've just my skin is not like dry anymore like I used to get really dry around my nose I don't have that anymore guys and I swear it's because of all of the water that's in the vegetables that I'm eating and like it's just so healthy. Everything I've been eating is so healthy. I've never eaten like healthier for like a week straight in my entire life. Um, and I just feel really energized. I feel really good. I know that my body's getting all the nutrients I need. And yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing this um, on. So I have two more days of this challenge, but I'm definitely gonna continue doing it after the challenge. I wanna try to make this an actual lifestyle. So I wanna... I want to incorporate it in my everyday routine going going forward and in the future so yeah um let me know if you guys think that my skin looks like glowy like more glowy than it normally does I mean I don't really post here on much anymore but I swear just trust me it is um it really is and also another thing I noticed is um my hair isn't getting like as oily as it normally does and that's weird because my hair on top is, is so oily normally and then I have really dry like ends you can probably even tell on here how dry my hair is down here so like from here down it's always dry but from like here all in my scalp like everything that my scalp touches like here and up it's so oily all the time and I literally have to wash my hair every day um, or if I don't wash my hair every day, I can never wear it down like twice in a row. Like it always has to be like up in a ponytail or something. So I've just started kind of wearing it like this so that I'm not like touching the top of my head a lot so that I don't have to wash my hair every day because I know how bad that is for your hair. Um, but at the same time, I love how my hair looks when it's down. So it's, it's kind of like a struggle that I've always gone through my whole life. Um, but yeah. So it's definitely helping with that, is helping my skin just look glowy and feel good and it's not dry anymore and I suffered from such dry skin. I still do like on my hands really bad. I don't know if you guys can like see it like in my videos and stuff, but my hands are so dry and I, I like went to the doctors and like asked them like what can I do about this? Like I have to get rid of this. I can't take this anymore. And she's like there's actually no like cure, like there's nothing you can do. Just like keep applying hand cream and like if any of you guys know of like a really good hand cream because I've tried all like I've tried even prescription hand creams and nothing works on me if you know anything that would work please um help me I was hoping that maybe this diet like was gonna like transform it or something like it did my face not so much it's still the same so it's not really happening with my my dry skin on my hands and it's basically just like a severe like dry skin condition that I have and it sucks and it's only on my hands and that's what everyone sees so it's a little bit awkward when you know I'm handling um, you know I'm very like my job is very hands-on so like people see my hands um, and like I'm on a keyboard and stuff like that so it's just a little bit embarrassing and I'm trying to like look past it, but it's just hard. So let me know if you guys know of any good hand creams and if you guys know of any good whole food plant-based recipes, like simple ones, like quick on the go ones. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will check in with you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. Hey guys, so it's day nine of intermittent fasting and I just got um, Panera, it's 2.50 lunch a little bit late today got a late start I got the Mediterranean veggie sandwich on ciabatta bread with no feta cheese and the modern Greek and quinoa salad with no cheese as well from Panera and it was so good so I had a good lunch and yeah we're gonna go out to dinner um, Saturdays I allow myself you know to, to kind of 
be a little bit easier on myself. So yeah, uh, we'll see what the day brings, but so far so good. And yeah, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hello everyone, it is day 10 of intermittent fasting, the last day of the challenge, and yeah, it went really, really well guys, I'm definitely going to keep doing it for sure, um, I love the way my body feels when I'm fasting, I just have a lot of energy, and um, yeah, I really would recommend it to every single person, in all honesty. Um, I would say it was the hardest, like, the first, like, two days, um, in the mornings, because, like, I was so used to making my avocado toast in the morning and having that and having a breakfast, um, but my body, I can now say, is, is used to not, um, eating so early anymore, so I would typically, um, have started around noon, and I ended um, most days at 7, but I would, like, usually, I would end it, like, around 8, um, some days, and around 7 other days. The latest I would eat was 8, um, but something I am going to do is on Friday night and Saturday nights, um, I'm not gonna be, like, too hard on myself about, um, what I eat and fasting because during the week I ate a whole foods um, plant-based diet the entire time and obviously I'm vegan so it's always going to be plant-based but um, on Saturday night I had like french fries and um, we got Panera um, but it was like the healthiest option of Panera it was a salad and um, a sandwich, but that was the first time I had bread like the whole week and I missed it so much guys. I love bread so much. So I had that and then today for lunch I had like a spinach, hummus, avocado, um, and like veganaise sandwich. So I did have like veganaise which is processed um, and like bread whole wheat bread I had um so I'm not gonna be like too um strict with myself about all this stuff on the weekends um but definitely very strict during the week like I have been um, through this 10 day challenge so yeah so yeah overall I would say it went really well and um yeah I just the only thing that I'll be doing going forward is being lenient like on the weekends about like what I'm eating. I'm not just gonna eat like salad on the weekends. So yeah. Um I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and um I will see you in my next one. Please like this video if you got some value out of it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll see you soon.